You are listening to Up to Me Radio, the best in inspirational talk radio. It's up to me. God Identity Podcast. We are a faith-based platform where we influence creatives to live authentically in pursuit of their purpose. So if you're passionate about impacting lives, monetizing your gifts and talents, and you desire to grow a relationship with God, then tune in to our podcast. We are so glad to have you a part of our community. Welcome back to the God Identity Podcast. I am your host, Arnesia, and on today's episode, I have a special guest with me. Her name is Ambi Stevens. Say hey, Ambi, to everybody. Hi, so excited to be here. Thank you so much, Arnesia, for having me. Yes, I'm glad to have you here. Listen, you can already hear in her voice the excitement, the joy, and um, I just wanted to bring her on today because I realized that, you know, she already has, like, an amazing empowerment platform, nonprofit. And I love how she is just impacting the community. I think I've seen a post like about a month or so ago about her. Um, she's basically starting a program to help other women to start their nonprofit. But most of all, like her story is what moves me and just keeps keeps her in mind. I, back in Clearwater, we met. Actually, we went to high school together, right? I think we went to high school together. I was thinking, I'm like, I think we went to high school together. Um, it's been so long, so please forgive me if I forget anything. Nope, that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, so I remember meeting her in high school, and then um, she, you know, I just remember her telling her story briefly, which she'll explain here too. But um, I did go to one of her empowerment events, and I remember us doing the vision boards. And you know, there are other women there that another girl had like a t-shirt business. So I know that she's big on impacting the community, and she was like, you know, she has a lot of things to share with us today. But just to give you a little bit more about Ambi, she is the founder and executive director of Empowerment. Um, a women's community center com- committed to helping women rise through support services, support groups, and empowerment workshops. Stevens is passionate about the mission of empowerment. Wanting to be empowered and around like-minded women is reason enough. Steven hopes to build a relationship with women that will serve as raw, long-lasting relationships with transparency and resilience at the core so that's to give you a little bit about Ambie but I'm gonna allow her man I need to have you do my speeches more often that was a good (laughs) intro whoa (laughs) yes I'm gonna give she's gonna tell a little bit more about her story um yeah like I do want to know like first off you have a batch two bachelor's degree in community leadership and paralegal studies so you also hold a master's of nonprofit management from UCF, University of Central Florida. So, um, and you've recently obtained your fundraising certificate from UCF. <laughs> so it's so many things that you've been involved in. I love it. It's like you know, the flourishing effect of success in the nonprofit industry. So I want to know what inspired you to begin empowerment. Absolutely. That was so well, well, well said as I, um, you know, not surprised. You're amazing. Um, as you may recall, my father died by suicide um, four years ago. Um, I'm like, I'm trying to work on that instead of saying die by, you know, die by suicide. I usually say committed suicide, but I'm really trying to work on that because um, my dad suffered. And so anyway, he um, lost his life. And when that happened, I recognized there was a need, right? I needed love, community, support. I needed a safe place. And so I said to myself, if I need this safe place, how many other women also need this safe place? So we launched this Facebook group. The Facebook group grew from having zero to 700 members within like seven months. And I was like, all right, God, <laughs> I got you. You, 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 you. you called, right? So what else do I need to do? So you know, as you mentioned, we would meet every month in different places, like coffee shops and parks and restaurants. And we would have these like v- very important topics that I felt like were real life change that could help people long term. And after doing that for a while, I completely changed. I was going to school to, for my doc or my um my law degree. Um, and I said, you know, like I think I have a different purpose, Lord. 
So um, here I am. We launched a community center um, last year in September. And well, now we help women with support services, support groups, empowerment workshops. You know, it's a full-fledged, all-inclusive women's center um, that is really committed to helping women rise through those programs. Okay, awesome. Yes, and I, I remember seeing something about you starting in 2020 during a worldwide pandemic. You, know, <laughs> you managed to open a community center and to just help women in Tampa Bay. So like, what was that experience like? It was very unique. Um, honestly, yeah, I'm going to be very raw here and candid because I, you know, you're my girl. I just think it's important to be honest. It was hard as heck. Still very hard. Um, friendship losses, financial difficulties, um, uh, you know, spiritual awakenings, uh, mental health. And there's so many things that I didn't realize were going to connect directly to, to this until now. So, but it's been very well worth it in my opinion yes yeah, like even just you know as you're building up you said loss of friendships relationships yeah absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. and still you know to this day that's it's, and I'll just be honest here it's you know it's still hurtful you have people who are in the same um you know the same walk as you but then sometimes unfortunately they can't go with you and you want them to go so bad but sometimes they were in your life for a season or a reason and it may not be you know, what you thought long-term. So that's always hard and was hard for me going through it. Still is very hard. I probably can hear it in my voice. <laughs> the shakiness. I say, I'm saying to myself now, have these really hard conversations and say things even if your voice shakes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one thing that's important, especially for women, especially like we need each other. And unfortunately not everybody can go with us where we're going, but to have someone there, at least be there, because that's what, that's what it, that's what I feel like empowerment circles or groups are, are about is helping lift the one person up from the next, you know, helping them to the next place or helping them where they are currently. Um, so I would like to know too, like what did the community center consist of? Uh, it's so amazing. I just, I can't wait for you to come see it. Um, we have a co-working space. We have a hygiene pantry. There is a room for women to have um, like empowerment workshops. So we have our weekly workshops that we have every single week. Um, that is painting and healing, financial wellness, and a single mom support group for the mamas. And then we have empowerment workshops where we do, we bring in women to come in and speak about several different topics from you know, um, let's see, divorce all the way to grief. Uh, this week we're talking about, uh, we have like a really cool book club. It is uh, literally just, you know, topics that are, that are spoken about that, are, that do not, that aren't your normal topics, right? Like they're very serious topics that people don't want to talk about on, on a day to day. Whatever you don't want to talk about, we're probably talking about at Empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh and my it makes gosh. you uncomfortable with doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good way to push people to get out of their comfort zone, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's and it's working, right? Like that's the cool part about it is that it's working. Yes, I can hear it also too, like how you are um just you know the 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 means and the necessary things that we need as women, like someone to support emotionally, but also be someone to help get you to that place like of empowerment. Can you explain to me what do you feel empowerment means? Yeah, oh, I love this question. Empowerment to me means to be comfortable in your in your best self, right? But to also be uncomfortable in your best self. So to me, um, when I when I say be uncomfortable, it's like when you're growing and when you have opportunities that are going to be presented to you, it's going to be so uncomfortable. And so that and it's empowering to be living in that. It's empowering to be uncomfortable. It's empowering to you know kind of be growing and not really know where the heck you're going through the growth. Um, and so that to me is empowerment. Sometimes when people talk about empowerment, they always say like, oh, like, do you guys have like stickers and like protesting everywhere? Like rah, rah. And I'm like, no, quite the opposite. We're actually vulnerable and sometimes kind of sad and sometimes lonely. And, but we get up the next day and we are, we live through our purpose. And that is what empowerment means to me and people who I circle, I, I surround myself with and, and for empowerment.